We are given a right-angled triangle like this. Now, a perpendicular is dropped from this vertex of the right angle upon the hypotenuse such that it divides the hypotenuse into two segments of 9 and 16 units, respectively. Given only this much information, our job is to find the lengths of this perpendicular line, and then also find the two legs A and B of the triangle. So, can you solve it? In order to solve this question, first, let's give some names to different things, like the perpendicular we just dropped from the right angle to the hypotenuse. Let's call that H. Also, let's call the original triangle as the big triangle. Now here's the most clever part. All three triangles, the big one and the two small ones, are similar to each other. And the reason is purely angle-based. The big triangle has a right angle and two other angles which we can call theta and phi. Now look at the left small triangle. It also has a right angle because we dropped a perpendicular, and it shares angle theta with the big triangle. That automatically forces its third angle to be phi, since the total sum of the angles in a triangle must be 180 degrees. The same logic works for the right small triangle. It has a right angle, shares angle phi with the big triangle, so its third angle must be theta. That means each of the three triangles has the exact same set of angles, just shuffled, and that makes them similar by angle, angle, angle. So if we arrange the left triangle like this with sides 16 and H placed like this, then the sides corresponding to the same on the right side will be H and 9 placed like this. Now from similarity, we know that in similar triangles, the ratio of corresponding sides is equal. So we get H divided by this side, or 9 equals 16 divided by this side, or H, right? Now cross multiply this, and you get H times H equals 9 times 16, or H square equals 9 is 3 square, and 16 is 4 square, or it can be written as 3 times 4 whole square, which is the same as 12 square. This means H equals 12 units. Boom! Now look at this right side red color triangle. Sides of this triangle are 9 and 12 units. If you divide both by 3, we get the sides as 3 and 4 units. And that instantly reminds us of the classic 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And since it fits that pattern, the hypotenuse of this triangle must be 5 times 3 which is 15. So B must be 15 units. Now let's look at the other triangle, the blue left one. This triangle has sides 12 and 16 units. Again, divide both by four and we get three and four units. Wow, we again get the classic three, four, five triangle. And just like before, we know that the hypotenuse in such a triangle must be five times the scale factor which is 4, so the hypotenuse becomes 20. So A must be 20 units, and that's it. So good.